Okay, this is going to be the borax bead test. Uh, the borax bead test tests for a couple of different ions that you might have. One of the things that we always want to look at with the borax bead test is usually uh, if your substance has a color, it would be a good time to go ahead and do the borax bead test because um, if you look at the ones in your lab that actually are positive for the bead test, uh, they're ones that aren't white solids or make colorless solutions. So what I'm going to test here is a solution of cobalt. Uh, cobalt's usually kind of a reddish, pinkish, maroonish sort of color. Uh, and that's what we got here. Cobalt should give us a really nice bead. I think it's the best one uh, to test with the borax bead test. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a solution of your unknown or of the substance that you're testing, in this case, cobalt. Uh, you also want your flame test wire, uh, which I have here, it has a nice uh, loop in it. You can see that there. And you're going to need uh, the borax powder, which is in the container here. So pretty easy test to do. Uh, we need our burner. So let me go ahead and light this, see what we get with this. I generally want fairly hot flame for this. So you can see we got a nice hot flame. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our wire, we're gonna heat it so it's red hot, and then we're gonna dip it right into the borax powder. See, we've got borax covering it, and we're going to put it back in the flame. And we're basically going to get that borax to melt into the loop. So I know it's a little hard to see there in the video, but that borax is melting. I'll show it to you as soon as it's all melted. And what you're going for is a nice glassy bead. So you can kind of see there that borax melted into a relatively clear, kind of glassy-like material. So what we need to do is take this bead and dip that into our solution and then put it back in the flame. So I'm going to heat this up again just to get it red hot. So I'm going to get it red hot. We're going to go right into our solution. This is a cobalt solution. And then right back in the flame. And we should, after it reacts, see a color on there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Now you'll notice that it's, of course, red hot. But you can kind of see, there's a really good shot. You get a nice blue color with cobalt on the borax bead test. And I've always noticed that as it cools, you get that color coming in even better. So you can see here as that, that, as, that as that is cooling, it's really developing that nice blue color on that. And that's a positive test for cobalt. So again, the borax bead test, uh, it's good if your substance has a color, kind of use it as a confirming test for those substances. Uh, if your substance is colorless or makes a colorless, uh, is white or makes a colorless solution, you probably don't need to do the borax bead test. Um, but there you go, pretty easy test to do. And uh, there you go.